Hi, good morning and welcome to, or good afternoon or good evening, whenever you're watching this video. I'm recording in the morning here, so that's just what's in my head. Uh, welcome to my video on how to do trans, uh, translations on just a flat surface, not on a coordinate plane. I have another video for that on a coordinate plane, but today is just how to do a translation from a line or a vector, depending on whatever you're calling it. Um, I'm just going to move my screen over here. So I have some space. Um, it says here, measure the length of the line. So here we have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And what I want to do is I want to translate it along this line. But what this line is telling you is a couple of things. First of all, it tells you the exact direction we want to translate this figure. Remember, translation just means to slide. Okay, we're not rotating, we're not reflecting, we're just simply sliding. Um, so this line tells us exactly what direction we want to slide it in, but then also the length of how long we should translate it. So it tells us two things, the direction and how long the translation should be. So here's what we would do. Step one, we would measure the length of this line. Then we would create parallel lines from each vertex to the vector line. So, for example, that blue line, the direction that I want my figure to be translated in would be translated along this parallel line of the same length. So A, point A, would become A prime. B would then get translated to B prime. And notice that these lines that I'm creating are parallel to my vector line, the direction that I want to go in. C becomes C prime, B becomes C prime. You can almost see like it looks like I'm creating a 3D figure. And then that's where my new figure would be. So A, B, C, D translated along this line would put it in this spot, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay, translate each figure. So I've got some more figures at the top and you're gonna see that I'm gonna do the same idea. First thing I would do is I would measure this line. I'd find out how long it is. Maybe it's an inch and one, you know, one quarter inch. I would then create parallel lines to it from each vertex of that same length. So I would create ED, okay, each one, create my figure, and I know that that would then be E prime, F prime, G prime. So again, notice all of these segments here, they're parallel to this line, and they're the exact same length. And as long as you have those two features, then you've translated your figure correctly. H, I, J, K. Okay, so if you were to copy that line segment onto each one, make it parallel to the original, you would have your new figure. And then L, M, N, O, P, all translated. Again, that same length with my new figure. And I have my translation. Pretty simple, straightforward, really nothing more to it than that, honestly. This last one, translate the figure from all to, it should say three vectors in the order shown, so I need to fix that. Um, but this would be that if I was just kind of following the pattern. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to translate it, then I'm going to take my image, translate it again, and then take that image and translate it one last time. So if I go ahead and I translate following along my first vector, Q prime, R prime, S prime, T prime, all of that same length, Here's my new image. Then if I was to follow the second vector, Q prime now would become Q double prime. So now I'm taking this length and that's what I'm copying and making parallel from Q, Q prime to make Q double prime. And I would do the same thing with each point, R double prime, S double prime, T double prime, and I have my new image. Last one along this vector. So I would measure the length and make the lines parallel. Q triple prime, R triple prime, S triple prime, T triple prime, and then I have my image. I hope these translations were easy enough for you. Again, it's just measuring the length and making parallel lines, and you have your translated figure. Again, thank you so much for joining me on my video. Hopefully you enjoy them and it helps you out in your class.